Sony's PlayStation Portable has a hidden skill. It's got a built-in emulator that lets you play PlayStation 1 games. So, let me show you how to package those up so you can play PlayStation 1 games on your PSP. Hi and welcome to Bytes and Bits. The PlayStation Portable is one of the best handheld consoles to own, even now in 2024. It's incredibly easy to hack, which lets you play any PSB game from a backup file on the internal SD card. But once you've hacked it, you can also unlock one of its other hidden features. So this, the PlayStation Portable is also able to play all of the PlayStation 1 games. So the system actually has a built-in emulator, which simply needs you to package up the PlayStation 1 game as what's known as an eBoot package, then copy it over to the SD card, and then you can play every game from the massive PlayStation library of titles. So let me show you how to do it. First off, you're gonna need a hacked PSP. Now, if you haven't done this yet with your PSP, then please do have a look at my 10 minute hacking video. And again, I'll put a link to that down in the description. If you haven't got a PSP, you can pick them up on eBay or elsewhere for around 40 to 60 pounds or, or, or dollars. Now, if you are choosing one, the original 1000 series models are great, but the 2000 and 3000 models do have a better screen and double the RAM. But whichever one you get, it's all going to work. And don't forget to buy a big enough SD card. So these games can each be over one gigabyte, as are the PSP games, and you're going to want to put a whole lot of them onto your system. So I'd advise at least a 64 gigabyte card um, or, or more if you can. Now, to, to use these bigger cards, you are going to need a memory stick duo adapter, which again, you can buy easily on Amazon. And I'll put some links down in the description uh, and, and they'll let you then use a standard micro SD card. The original Sony memory sticks, they're, they're just a bit too small for what we're trying to do here. So with all of that sorted out, we just need to download one piece of software. So PSX to PSP is an app that takes PlayStation game backup files and combines them into a single eboot.pbp file. And that's exactly what we need then for the PSP to be able to play these games. Now the backup files that you use can either be binq format files or ISO images. And the software will be able to cope also with multiple disk games. Now you simply need to download the application zip file, and again I'll put a link to that in the description down below, and then just simply extract the contents to wherever you want to keep the software. So this, this software doesn't get installed as such, so we are just going to run the .exe file from the folder where we save it. So if you run the psx to psp.exe file, you'll first have to choose which mode you want to use. Now, I personally prefer classic mode as it gives you easier access to all the program options, even if it doesn't look quite as pretty. So now all we need then are some game backups. Now, as usual, I'm going to leave it to you to sort out your game files. Um, there are easy ways to back up your original discs using a package called ImageBurn, or of course you can find these files online. Now, now do make sure, however, that you check out my copyright video just to make sure that you're able to download the titles you want legally in your region. Now, as I mentioned earlier, the game backup files that you find can either be in this binq format or as ISO images. And the software will also cope, as I said, with these multiple um, disk games. So next, we need to actually create this game package. So if you go into PSX to PSP, we first need to specify where we want to save our built game package. So click on the output PBP folder ellipsis button and then select an output folder. So basically what this software is going to do, it will package up our game into its own individual folder and it will then save that folder in this folder where we've specified. So this um, 
backup folder then is the whole package that we need to copy over eventually then onto our PSPSD card. So next back in PSX to PSP, we need to tell the app where all of our bin or ISO files are. So in the ISO slash PBP file dropdown, select the file one option. Then we need to click the find file button at the end of that little area, and that will then let us find our first bin or ISO file. So once you select this first file, you should see some game data popping up into the information area. Now the important bit here is the main game ID, which is a unique ID number to this particular game, but it's also going to be the folder name when the package um, is saved onto our computer. So if there's more than one ISO or bin file, just repeat this process by selecting, for example, file 2 in the ISO PBP dropdown, and then selecting that bin or ISO file, and then keep on going until you've got all the disks for the game covered. We next need to find some images for our game so that when we they, they, the game pops up in our PSP menu, we're not just looking at some blank um, holder images. So the best place to get hold of these that I found is the Launchbox database website. And again, I'll, I'll put a link to that in the description. So once you get to that website, just search for the game title that you want, and you should find it popping up in the preview area. Now the game of course will be available perhaps on a number of platforms, so just make sure you find the PlayStation version. You can now go to the Images tab, and in there you should then see a whole range of box art, screenshots, and other images that we can then use. So we are going to need two images. One is going to be an icon image, um, or, or, bo or box art image, and then one is going to be a background image. So the icon image should be a fairly square, and, you'll f and I tend to find that the box art here is, uh, is actually quite perfect for that. The background image then is going to end up as a landscape skip image on the PSP, and the PSP is going to crop it to fit the screen. So I, I, I tend to use screenshots for these. So at any of these images, just right click on an image, if you're using a PC that is, and then save it to your PlayStation game folder. And I like to save my bin and queue files and my, all my images then all together as a single game folder on my PC. And that just keeps everything together in one nice neat package. So now we need to go back into PSX to PSP. We've got all of our bin and ISO files selected. So we now need to select our downloaded images then as both the icon image and the background image. And once we've got those specified in the system, we can click this little preview button and that will just let us see what they're going to look like. So lastly then, we need to go into the options menu and you're only going to need to do this once obviously. So you can leave most of the settings as default, but the one that you can play with then is this compression setting. So I tend to leave mine at 9 for full compression and that will make the final game package as small as possible. But you may find at this setting that some games just don't work. So it's not going to be very many games, most of them will work at this high compression. But if you do get one that just doesn't boot up, then just come back in here and regenerate the game package then at a lower or perhaps even no compression setting. So once we've got that changed over, um, we need to save our settings so that our system will then use those settings. And we can now go back and click the convert button to make our eBoot package. So the, system, the software will run through that. Uh, and when it's done, it will report back then on the final compression ratio. And we're now ready to copy the game across to our PSP. So we need to hook our PSP up to our PC over USB. And again, you'll need a, a USB cable for that. Again, I'll, I'll put links to the one that I'm using down in the description. Or you can simply take the um, SD card out of your PSP and pop that into your um, computer's card reader. So in, in our, on, our, on our PC then, um, we need to go to the output PBP folder that we specified in the PSX to PSP application. And inside there, you should find a folder that has the same folder name that matches up with the main game ID from that game information area in the application.
Now this is the folder that needs to be copied across and pasted and we need to paste that into the PSP slash game folder on our PSP's SD card. Once that's copied across, our game is now installed and ready to play. So go back into your PSP, make sure your SD card is all put back in again, and then go into your game memory. Go down to your memory stick option, and inside there, you should now see your PlayStation game sitting there. Just select it, and we're now playing a PlayStation 1 game on our PSP. So that's all there is to getting the full PlayStation 1 games library onto your PSP. I hope you found this information useful. If so, please do click that like button and subscribe to the channel for more gaming, modding, electronics and coding projects. I look forward to seeing you again very soon and bye for now. For more games programming, electronics projects and retro gaming, Please make sure you like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel and visit my website.